All right you guys back with another leonardo.ai video. In this video I am going to show you everything you can do using the canvas editor in leonardo.ai. If you are new to leonardo.ai then go to my playlist section where I have created a separate playlist for leonardo.ai in which I have covered everything from the basics to advanced techniques. Let's get into the video without wasting any time. So the first step in order to start editing in the canvas editor is to search for images in this section the home page you can also go to the top section in order to search some of the trending images i have already saved an image in my personal feed and liked feed so this is the image that i have shortlisted let's click on it so in order to edit in the canvas editor and expand the image one thing that you need to keep in mind is you need to copy the prompt in order to get accurate results now let's click on these three dots and edit in canvas. You can also decrease the size if you want. And now I'm going to paste the prompt right here and then place the bounding box on top of this. And then click on generate. This is the result that I got and the other results are pretty funny. Now if you do not get your desired result using the prompt then you can also write something like Japanese structure. So you need to check for particular styles and particular words in the image that you recognize and write it into the prompt. As you can see right here I wrote similar Asian architecture and these are the results that I got. This is one. This is another result. If you do not like the result, you can increase the guidance scale and then click on generate again. I'm happy with this generation, so I'm going to click on accept and then go in this section right here and do the same thing. Click on generate. After the image is complete, I've thought of placing a character on top of the image that I'm going to do in leonardo.ai itself. So I've selected an image, I went to the free background remover and then you just need to drag and drop the image. I want this image. So I've selected this image and I just want the character to be placed on the image that I just extended in leonardo.ai's canvas editor. It's pretty simple. This software will remove the background for you and then you can download the image from right here. Now let's bring the image from computer. This is the image and the only thing I need to do right now is decrease the size of the image. As you can see I decreased the size of the image and placed it on top of the image and it looks like it was part of the image. This concept of image art is called matte painting which you can do in Photoshop and other editing, photo editing softwares as well. But it becomes very easy with the already given designs and these easy tools that I'm telling you right now. The next thing I did was I placed the bounding box on top of this section right here with the PNG image that I placed just now and then I wrote similar Asian architecture and body structure and it came up with this which does not look that bad it looks pretty good actually let's generate some more generations so so right now I am not getting the desired generation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the size of the whole image and then give the bounding box some more reference in order to generate something similar now I'm going to click on generate and see what it comes up with. This time it came up with a much better image generation as you can see the structure is more blended into the previous image and even the arm looks pretty okay. So these are the results that I got. I think this one looks the best so I'm going to click on accept. And then do the same thing to complete the image. This is not the end. You can get much more creative with your generations. So for example, I just downloaded an image of some fire sparkles. It is a PNG image. 
I'm going to import the image in this right here and then let's decrease the size of the image and place it into the image. These are the type of things you can do in your image generations to make it more creative. After adding the sparkles, I placed the bounding box right here and then added fire into the prompt. So similar Asian architecture and fire. And let's see what it comes up with. Does it pick these fire elements into the generation? And as you can see, the fire continues. Uh, and as you can see, the fire continues. And these are the options that we have. I think this looks pretty good. So I'm going to click on accept and then complete the generation right here. So one thing you learn from this is whatever you place on top of the image, you can generate separately. Whatever elements you want, you can generate. If Leonardo.ai is not capable of generating such things, then you can add things in the form of matte paintings and PNG images and generate further. This will make your creative process much more efficient. The next image that I chose, now I'm going to erase a part of this image in order to change the structure. So I'm going to erase a big part of the image. Now just look at the prompt that I wrote. A helipad on the roof with a railing and a high-tech spacecraft 4K octane render. Let's see how capable it is to generate something like this in the canvas editor. And these are the options that were generated. I'm going to go with this one. So uh, this is pretty good actually. So this is an example of what you can do with images using the mask and erase tool as well. I'm going to click on accept. Now I'm going to decrease the size of the whole image. Place the bounding box right here. And then tell it to generate something similar so that we get a good image. As you can see right here, I wrote similar architecture and it generated all these images. So one image is exactly similar and this is something black and white. This looks nearest to what I want. So I'm going to go with this structure right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing in this section. And now let's bring the bounding box right here and let's see what it generates if we write only similar. We didn't get any good results by writing only similar. Now I also copied the prompt particular image so I'm going to paste the prompt right here and then click on generate and as you can see it generated way better results by adding the prompt of the same image so this is one effective way you can it depends upon what you want to do if you want to just change small elements of the image you can write manual prompts you can also generate this kind of structure by writing your own prompt if you have enough knowledge of prompts so it depends upon it depends from person to person and also the guidance scale in some cases a lot of you were asking me how successful the canvas editor is in generating limbs so in some cases it generates pretty good results like i showed you in the first generation it generated half of the arm but the image should be a bit clear and your prompt also should have some words that match the previous image that you want to generate. For example, right here I have tried to generate legs. So let's see how successfully we generate the legs. So I wrote similar legs continuation 4k octane render. And let's see what kind of legs do we get. As you can see I changed the prompt similar legs with black tight outfit. So continuation, 4K Octane Render, and these are all the results that I got. So this one still looks pretty decent, uh, but we are not going to go with this. You have a section of negative prompting where you can write some negative prompts also. So you can experiment with this feature and also the guidance scale. Now I changed the prompt a bit more, so I added some negative prompts and I got some better results than the previous one. This also looks pretty good 
and this one as well but here the legs seem to be a bit shorter than the actual structure of the body so what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the size of the whole image and then place the bound in box in such a way that it gives enough space for the legs to generate and as you can see this looks better than the previous generations in fact all these generations this one looks the best so I'm going to click on accept and then the final generation is to generate the feet so similar and it successfully generated what I actually wanted so you can play around with these settings like the negative prompting and also add your own prompts as you can see I've added a lot of things in the prompt right here you can also copy the original prompt of the image in order to generate some limbs and yes this was it for the video if you like the video then subscribe to the channel and i'll be back with some more ai related content in my next video